Hey guys, take a moment to the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if you're noticing iCloud settings being grayed out when you go click on your Apple ID. You may notice things maybe in your iCloud that you're not able to click on it or it's grayed out. You want to follow these steps. So the very first thing is go ahead and swipe up and close out the settings app. Pull in the control menu here, put your phone on airplane mode briefly, and then turn it back off. And that does a quick network refresh. The reason why you do a network refresh is that when it comes to iCloud settings, your iPhone needs to be connected to either uh, the internet through the Wi-Fi or cellular data. And once you do that, go back into your settings and go to your iCloud and hopefully things are working for you. Now, if that's not working for you, the next thing you want to check out on your iPhone or iCloud is that here you might see a message, something like that, where it says agreeing to the new iCloud terms and condition. Basically, you want to review that and accept and agree of that. The reason why this happens is when iPhone uh, or Apple decides to push out a new terms and condition, they require you to agree to it before you can utilize Apple services. So you have to review it and agree to that. So do, do that. Now, after you have done that and it's still not working, or if you didn't see any of the terms and condition and you did a airplane mode on and off, we're going to go ahead and force restart your iPhone. In order to do that, you're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down one after another, and finally hold the side button here until the screen goes completely black. And you see the Apple logo appear at that time. Let go of that button and it should be working. So I'll do volume up, volume down, and then I'll hold that side button. Again, make sure you press and release the volume up, followed by volume down one after another, and then hold that side button. And you're going to keep on holding it until the screen goes completely black and we're going to wait for the Apple logo to appear and at that time we let go of that button and that's known as a force restart which shuts down the phone completely and reloads the code so if a software related issue impacting your iPhone it will fix it for you. Now this method will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos, videos, apps will be fine on your phone. Again once you're back onto your phone make sure again you're connected to either Wi-Fi or cellular data. Go into your setting of your iPhone, click on your iCloud, and then check out your iCloud settings, and hopefully they're working as they should. Or if it's still grayed out, the next thing you want to do is go into the main iCloud settings. You're going to want to go ahead and sign out. So click on sign out, and you're going to enter your password for your Apple ID, and then click on turn off. So I've entered my Apple ID password. I'm going to click on turn off here, and then it's going to sign me out. I'm going to click on sign out. Sign up one more time and it should sign me out, which is fine. And then all you'll do is sign back into your same Apple ID account here. So I'm going to enter my Apple ID. So I've entered my Apple ID email and password. I'm going to hit done. And then it's signing me in. And it might ask you for a two factor authentication code. In that case, I'll go ahead and enter my two factor. It's entered my two factor code, which again is going to be different for everyone if you have two factor setup. And then it will sign you into your iCloud account and hopefully after that the iCloud settings are working for you. Now another thing you want to do if it's still not working is go into your setting of your iPhone, go to general and check out that if you have any BPN or device management. Now device management work if you have an organization like maybe your employer from your work or your school has a profile there that could prevent certain things you can't do on your iCloud without having them to pretty much turn that feature on for you. If that's the case, you might have to contact your IT support for your employer or her organization like school that is managing that for you. Or, and if you can remove the profile, you can try doing that as well if the profile that you set up. Now, after you have done that, it's still not working or it's not something that's on that end. The next thing to check out is Apple server to make sure that it is working the way it should. And if you go to Apple, system status apple provides this system status of all their services they're operating which as you can see here currently everything is working but in a scenario that for example things in the icloud account or any of these icloud services are not working you're going to notice that it's going to be grayed out so the key thing here is to make sure that everything is working now if it says something isn't working if there's an outage or there's uh, something in service, you just have to wait till Apple fixes it. There really isn't any way to uh, resolve that until Apple fixes it. They usually fix it within a few hours, at most a day or so, but usually they will fix it. You just have to be patient about it. Now, lastly, if you notice that everything's working, 
try to update your phone by going to your setting of your iPhone, go to general software update and check if there's an update available. If there's an update out, it should look like this. You're going to go click on update now. And after you update to the latest iOS version, hopefully your iCloud settings are working for you and your phone is back to normal. And that's it for all the fixes for fixing your iPhone iCloud settings being grayed out on your iPhone. I hope this video was helpful. If so please make the like and subscribe button. Also, if you found a better way to fix the problem, leave it in the comment section to share with everyone. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.